Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be covering the brand new Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Eyeshadow Palette. So if you are interested in hearing my thoughts on this palette as well as seeing a tutorial of how I got this look, then just keep watching. Currently, right now, this palette is sold out on the Huda Beauty website. The Huda Beauty website was the first place to put this eyeshadow palette on sale, so it did sell out. It is still in stock on Sephora, however, I do recommend you pick this up now if you want it because I'm sure a lot of people are purchasing it for this VIB sale. So I will link it down below for you guys. You can get like 20-15% off depending on the tier you are on the Sephora Insider Scale, but this is a great opportunity to pick this palette up because without out the sale it is $67. The big Huda palettes are kind of a lot of money. I say this every time I talk about a Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette but Huda has a real talent in curating these eyeshadow palettes. I think she creates the best aesthetic, the best color story, and just something that is super pleasing to the eye and the way she lays out her palettes are incredible. So I know some people feel some type of way but I really feel like the palette curations from Huda are some of the best in the business. So online it says this palette features a cosmic blend of 18 shades and textures balancing cool and warm tones to deliver infinite possibilities. It's filled with easy to use combinations of dusty coppers, rosy pinks, and golden taupe with pops of purple and blue. It features nine buttery mattes, six high shine creamy metallics, one glitter powder charged with silver sparkles, and two sheer multi-reflective shadows for an out of this world glow. So let's get into the packaging. Typical packaging in that it shows Huda's eyes and I know it's really cool it has that really neat mercury retrograde kind of theme very spacey and I like the packaging I don't necessarily love that she does her eyes but I mean it is still very nice and it's just the name of the brand you open it up you have quite a large mirror and then you have the 18 shades and I mean looking at this palette is absolutely stunning after just reviewing the new Tati palette like this palette makes the Tati palette look so boring which is okay I love a good boring palette but this palette is very unique, very beautiful. One thing I would like to point out as far as the color story goes is that don't be tricked by these pop. If you cover the top four colors up here, this palette is quite kind of neutral peachy pinky, which almost all of their palettes are in that tone. So I would say that this palette isn't that unique to their line. Once you get rid of these top four, it looks like a lot of so just keep that in mind. I mean, I feel like Huda just really loves the same tones. Tried to make it different this time around, but it still kind of ended up being the same if you take those pops away. But anyways, other than that, this palette does contain a lot of different textures and the textures that are described online are clearly visible and decipherable in this palette. I know which one the glitter is. I know which one the toppers are. I know which ones the mattes are and the super creamy shimmer formulas. I know what they are, they're very identifiable. So now let's go into the swatches of this palette. So we are going to start off with swatching this row right here. So we're gonna start off with Haze. This color swatches beautifully and pigmented. We do have a little bit of kick up in the pan, but it's not really chalky like a lot of other blues are. Now we're gonna go into Mercury. This swatch is really pretty. You can see it doesn't have much of a pigmented base. And I will say just through experience, this is more of a lid topper on the eyelid. It doesn't quite pick up as much color as a swatch does. Then we have Nebula, which is a glitter shade. Absolutely stunning. So this one is for the glitter lovers. Now we're going to go into Ultraviolet, which again is one of those lid topper shades. Really pretty. Not really a color I would put on the lid by itself. Utopia. Really gorgeous. Transition shade. And Cosmic. A little bit more sheer this color is, but I can see it being a really pretty wash over the lid. That's the first row. Okay, so for the next row, we're going to start off with Supermoon. This has a real multi-dimensional effect. This is like her textured formula. Momentum, a little bit chalky there, but 
a very pretty transition shade, Crash, Libra, Galaxy, oof, that one looks wet. Feels a little bit more creamy as well, off balance. Okay, so finally time for the last row. We have Frazzled, another one of those creamy wet formulas. Gold Glitch, one of the textured formulas. Karma, a matte. Supernova, very pigmented and creamy. Hot Mess, hmm. This one didn't swatch as well as the others, but that's okay. And then finally, Vortex. From initially swatching, I could tell that this palette was going to be very good. The shadows swatched very well and super easy. Of course, swatching doesn't always dictate how a product applies to the eyes, but just being familiar with their formula in general, I knew that this one was going to be good. Side note, something I forgot to mention, this palette is made in Italy, and I'm not surprised by that because the shimmers in here are absolutely stunning. And I'm going to be honest, just based on my experience from trying a lot of different eyeshadow palettes, Palettes made in Italy are the best. I'm excited that this one is made in Italy. I really love the color story of this palette. I just think it's a little bit different based on a lot of palettes that have released this time of year. I would say it definitely runs much more cool than it does warm. It describes it as a warm and cool palette. Honestly, it's really just a cool tone palette if you ask me. You can get very ethereal, fairy-like looks with this palette. I don't necessarily think it fits in to the season as far as the color story goes, but that doesn't matter. It's still a beautiful palette. The only thing negative I really have to say about the color story is that I wish there were more shades to add more depth. I can't speak on experience of how this would work on more deep skin tones, but honestly, I can't imagine it being that awesome on somebody with a deeper skin tone. There's really only one shade in this palette that adds any sort of depth. I'm just playing around with all of these colors on my eyes. It's very pastel-y, a lot of bright light colors on the eyes, and the quality of them are good, because a lot of times with these lighter colors, they're very chalky, they blend away. That doesn't happen. This is good quality eyeshadows, but you're not going to get a lot of depth with this palette, so just be aware of that. Quality-wise, as I stated before, very good quality. I was quite impressed, especially with this blue right here. A lot of times you'll find that light blues like that are very chalky. This one was not. It applied a good layer of pigmentation on the eyelid. Not chalky, not too much follow. It is a bit brighter, so it did take a little bit of building. The only formula that I don't really love are the two toppers up here, and they do look really pretty with the color underneath, and you just pat that on top, but I just don't love this formula in general from Huda. That's not to say it's not stunning on the eyelid, because it is, and their intention is being toppers, but if that's the case, I wish they would have put more flattering base colors as well to go with the shades, because I put this color underneath this color and it really just didn't do it for me. But that could potentially just be a me problem, but I just wasn't really feeling the topper shades. Another formula that you need to be mindful of with application is this color here and this color here. They need to be applied with the finger. They almost need the pressure and warmth of the finger to really press it into the skin. The colors are gorgeous, but if you apply it with a brush, it's going to get really flaky and fall out and not stick to the eyelid. This is not a new formula for Huda, just it needs the warmth of that finger to really work. But um, other than that, I would say the colors are very easy to work with. The matte selection is a bit pale. I think we could have used a little bit more dimension, but I really do love the colors in here. If you are a purple lover, you're really going to like this palette. I am loving the look that I created today with this palette. Here's how I did it. So the first color that we went into was Momentum, and I just applied that underneath the eyebrow to brighten everything up. The next color I took with a big fluffy brush was the shade Haze, that baby blue. And I wanted that baby blue to pop through the look and kind of be the transition shade. So using a big fluffy brush, I blended it all over the crease area so that was going to pop through any color that I put on top. I then went in with Libra and I applied that right underneath the blue. As you can see, the shade does not add any depth, but it really began that purple gradient that was going to start on my eyelid. To add a little bit of more depth, this berry color hot mess. I 
blended in my outer corners and then I also brought that into the crease to add some deepness to the eye since Libra was so bright. And then taking a very small brush, I took the shade Vortex, which is the deepest color, and I blended that in my outer corner on and along my lower lash line as well. Even then, I wish this color would have created a little bit more depth. I did find myself having to go back in and rebuilding that depth as I kept blending. So it doesn't necessarily stay the easiest, but it still was super easy to blend. So it's kind of a give and take. I do really like this formula, but it did take a little bit of extra layers to get it to actually deepen. So the next color that I took was Nebula, which is that pressed glitter formula. And this is an amazing pressed glitter formula. I know some of you are not very partial to pressed glitter formulas, but this one's really good. The glitters are extremely fine and it does feel extremely creamy. It doesn't feel chunky or greasy like a lot of pressed glitter formulas. I like this formula better than the pressed glitter formula in the Tati palette as well, in case you're wondering. This one is more of a pressed glitter cream eyeshadow hybrid, which is why I think I like it. And all over the lid applied with the finger is beautiful. I know she does sell a brush or like an applicator that's supposed to help with the application. You don't need it, don't waste your money, just use your finger and it stays very well. I don't have any fallout and it's stunning. I would have been happy with a few more of that formula in this palette because it's a really awesome formula. I then took some of Cosmic and I applied that to my inner corner. This is that creamy metallic formula. This is a color that I would worry about drying out over time but it is really pretty if you use your finger all over the lid you're going to get a high shine metallic foiled finish on your eyelid and it's also really pretty as an inner corner highlight and something that I did do off camera was I took some of super moon right here which is that Huda textured formula and I applied it with a brush and it does get very flaky like I stated before but I did just want it to brighten a little extra and for that purpose it works but I wouldn't use a brush to apply it all over the lid because you will get fallout all over your face you have to kind of rub it into your skin. And then all I really did for my eyes, I did not apply any eyeliner. I just did mascara and these fake eyelashes. These are Queen Bee by Coco Lashes. And that's how I got this look. I just, I love it. And since I'm such a purple lover, I really like this palette. So my overall thoughts of this palette are, I think it's beautiful. I'm very happy to have it along with my other Huda Beauty palette. It's a very good formula and a very solid palette, if you ask me. Not perfect, and I definitely don't think it's for everybody. If these aren't colors that you're into, definitely don't pick this up. If you have a deeper skin tone and you have this palette, please let me know down below how it works for you. I'm very curious and I'm sure I have other viewers who are as well. And I'm gonna say that sums up this video. I, I really like this palette and I think the colors are super pretty and it's different than a lot of other palettes that have come out this season. So if you are a Sephora Beauty Insider, definitely pick this up while you can get some money off of it. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know your thoughts on this palette down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, it's up to you, but you might want to do it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Have a good one.